All right, Emily and Corwin. Uh, sorry, I'm on a call. Please take those things <laughs> off. If you only knew, he makes this joke every single day in the office. <sighs> we get it. You look like a jerk. I'm on a call. As I guess all of us have noticed, including the fine folks at home, uh, there's two of you on the couch. Why are we on the same team? Because, it, it, you know what? I thought it would be kind of funny if we did a team game and you guys just seem like the perfect pairing. Really? No. Can you shut your damn mouth for like... I said one word. What's so bad about it? Well, first of all, you're not a winner, okay? You don't win at these. We thought it'd just be fun to have a quiz that was like a tag team partner quiz. Yo, where's my belt? I need my belt. The chances of Sam leaving with a belt are almost zero because I think you've been eliminated first in every single quiz we've been in. And you partnered me with him? I like this theme of foes working together. I mean, obviously we got Jesse and Luca because both of them just don't like each other. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got, you know, the Leafs fan working with the Canadians fan. Do you guys know what we're doing here today? Uh, quiz, but beyond that, do you have any idea? A tag team quiz? It's a tag team quiz. This one is on original six teams. Okay. okay. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Bud's all day. Neither of our squads made the cut, Luca. No, like this is pure disrespect. Another Leaf-centric quiz, I'm sure. Oh, original six, there's, Toronto Maple Leafs. There's five other teams in there. Doesn't so. matter, the Leafs are Luca, one of them. Luca, Luca, we need to bond right now over our hatred towards the Leafs to carry us through to the title. Seriously. Okay. Seriously, Okay. let's do it. Okay, okay. I'll think about it. 12 questions. Since there's six teams, there's gonna be two questions for each team. Now, usually when there are 12 questions, you know that means one strike. I don't like the one strike system. Wait. Single elimination. Wait, wait, wait. One strike each getting one wrong. No, you guys are sharing that together. <laughs> I'm gonna just let you answer them. I'm, I'm okay. I could be out right away. That would really suck. You're gonna get hit though. There's a bonus round. You know how the bonus round works. If you get it right, you gotta skip a question. Or it's like a free strike. You ready? You ready to get this started? Let's go! Let's go! I'm just happy that your ears had to suffer with me there too, Luca. I'm not gonna be able to hear the questions! You guys ready? Yes! Yeah. Hell yeah. Are we going confident now? Yes, we are so ready. Question number one. On the Leafs. When was the last time the Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup? Try not to answer this with a smile on your face. Okay, that's good. At least we got through one question. Yeah, we Do know this one. I think we got this. Hold on, hold on. You got this? Yeah. You take this one. You take this one. I'll, I'll let you take this one because I know you're going to enjoy every second of saying it. 1967. Mm -hmm. 67. 1967. Let's move on. Oh, didn't even make fun of it. Well, what is there to say? I mean, obviously we get hit with a Leafs question first. It's, it speaks for itself, really. Like, it's been that long since they've won a Stanley Cup. The Jets are going to win a cup before the Leafs. You yeah. heard it here first. Yeah, the thing is, the Jets probably won't be in Winnipeg when they do that, though. Oh, Ooh. man, that's Where sad. Where are going to be, you Saskatchewan? <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep the ball rolling. Question number two. This is a Bruins question. Every hockey fan knows that the Bruins have retired Bobby Orr's historic number four, but can you name two other numbers that they've retired as well as the player who wore it? Hmm, that's a tough one. Okay, so two players. So one, Ken yeah. Neely. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? Yeah, that's, okay, that's one. We he's, know that. And he, like, what? I don't know, he's a general manager or something on the team. So, like, he's one. And then I think his number is, I, I think it's 12. No, I think it's eight. I think it's eight. I think, they're, I think Ray Bork is retired. Did they retire Bork? 100%. Had to have yeah, retired yeah, Bork. Yeah. That guy's Bork. like a legend. Bork, Bork for sure. 77, give us 77. Yeah. I think it's like 77 or something like that. What is 77? 77? It's 77. Final answer. Okay, so we're going with Cam Neely. Cam Neely, eight. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? And Phil, Phil Esposito, Esposito seven. seven. I would imagine Esposito's number is for sure retired. I think I so too. He, he won a cup with or 100%. Mm -hmm. I just cannot remember what number Esposito was. Wasn't he seven? This is my guess. If you want to veto it, veto it. But my guess is Cam Neely. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? Like number eight. I'm cool with that. Cam Neely. Eight. Final answer. That is correct. Moving on. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Half, half, half. Oh my god, you guys are getting along. Question number three. It's on the Red Wings. The Red Wings have had 28 different captains since 1942. The most out of any original six team. Name five of those captains. Five captains. Okay, one, Gordie Howe. Re Robert. Nicholas Lidstrom. Classic hockey name. I think he was a captain. Red Kelly. Um, number five. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Steve Yzerman. The team captain. Steve Yzerman. 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 That's not me. 
Apparently everyone has an F for him. So with a name like that, you're asking for it. Daniel <laughs> Zakarzewski. <laughs> yeah. The reason we call you Z. It should be Zed. Ted Lindsay wore the C, right? Yeah, I think so. Ted Lindsay. Was it like Fedorov or something like that? I don't know, you wanna go with Shanahan? Okay, we'll go with Shanahan. No! Ugh. <sighs> He was not a captain. Sam, Takia, kick rocks. You're out of here. Look at this. Look guy's at this teamwork. This guy's putting the mother team on his no, back. Man, no, no, it's a team. It's a team effort. It really is. Luca Jennings, dog. <laughs> I put a team on my back, though. My leg broke. I don't know how the fuck I'm running right now, though. Fuck you, Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sign off. <laughs> you, Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, now that we're done with that internet history, hockey history, let's get back to it. Moving on to question four. This one's on the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks have only had one first overall pick in the history of their franchise. Mm. Who was it? Oh, well, this is a, it's a recent one. Showtime. Yeah. Patrick Kane. Yeah, Patrick Kane. Patty Kane, man. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. Kind of like this guy right here. Mullet of the century. I don't think Luca has a mullet. This guy looks like Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus, okay? <laughs> Team notes, everyone! He's been growing out his hair for quite some time now. He's just got a little more gray. Can you let the hair down? The hair down. Oh my goodness. You know like Prince Charming and Shrek just like takes off his helmet? Did you just refer to yourself no, as no, Prince Charming? No, no, because the next part was, I was going to say, I am definitely not anywhere close to as good looking as Prince you, Charming. You okay? look more like the guy who's not left-handed in <laughs> Princess Bride. How are you? Wow. <laughs> Question number five. And this one is on Corwin's favorite team to hate, the New York Rangers. The Rangers have won the least amount of Stanley Cups out of the original six teams. How many championships have they won? Damn it, Z, you've done it again. That's a stumper. That's, that a, that's a stumper. I think it's like very few. Yeah, like they didn't win it all in the actual original six era. Well, the last one they won was in 94. Obviously. Yes. Led by my former coach, Jeff Bukaboom. That is most certainly not who they were led by. We know it's not a lot, that's no. for sure. Yeah. I would say it's either like three or four. Guys are already relying on guessing. No, but it, it's definitely in that. I mean, who knows this? What do you mean? I guess Rangers fans. But <laughs> we gotta take a guess. Like I, I don't. We we know they won one. Well, it's just hard because a lot of these original six teams have won so many Stanley Cups. Considering like how many the Leafs have won, the Montreal Canadiens have won, the Bruins have won, the Blackhawks have won. Like there's there's only so many years. It's got to be like a small number. Five or six or something. I was thinking like four or five. That few, hey. Well, five or six is basically the same. I'm just I just want one lower. Four's my lucky number, so I want to lock four in. Jesse, just say the words. I'm trusting him. I trusted you. I trusted you. Okay, four. Four it is. In the spirit of being nice, let's give him four. Let's go four. Yeah, let's do four. What a joke. Anyways, yeah, it's four, but you clearly didn't know that. <laughs> you clearly didn't know that. What do you mean? That was a, that was a science. <laughs> let's go. Don't ever do that to me again. I Don't ever do that to me Yes. I said it was my lucky number. Oh, good. Now we've arrived at question number six. Is there a Montreal Canadiens question coming? Of course. This is it. Ah, this is it. Okay. Yeah. This is it, guys. If you get this right, we move on to the bonus round. Oh, I love the bonus. The Canadians have won an NHL best 24 Stanley Cups. How many of those cups have come at a time when the NHL had 25 yeah. Or more teams. What we're gonna guess again? What a ridiculous freaking question. Stupid. Perhaps the people on the couch are stupid, but I think yeah. the question's just fine. I know that they won ten in the original six years. Okay, th that's a good. Well, let's think about this. They're the last Canadian team to win how a Stanley Cup. But how many teams have been added to the league since they won their last cup? So we know the last time they won was 92-93 season. Yeah. And I. I don't know when they had 25 teams. I think it might have been then or like after that. I think. Like it's that season or the one or the after? One. So I think it's actually maybe zero. I actually think that they, they won all 24. Won all 24 when there were 25 or less teams in the league. That's bold. I think it's zero. You think it's zero? I think, I think we should lock it in for zero. Let's do it. Let's do it. Zero. Y'all are losers. Zero cups. Oh. oh <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. But we're not losers. No, no, yeah, no, okay, no. Yeah, yeah. Just your team. Let's go! Oh, man. Let's go! This guy came up clutch. <laughs> You've made it to the bonus round. You know the rules. 30 seconds on the clock. Once I'm done reading this question. List the original six teams in order of least cup wins to most. Okay, so Rangers is at the bottom. Rangers is the least. Shout out. Hawks. Blackhawks. Next is the, the Bruins. Bruins, third. 
Okay. Okay. Did the Leafs have more than the Wings? I think the Leafs have more than the Wings. Okay, so Wings, then Leafs, and then Habs. Leafs, Leafs, and Habs. Okay, crawl. That is correct. You got yourself a bonus. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. Oh my god. A pass. Moving on. Seven. Number seven. The second Bruins question. Ray Bork is the Bruins franchise leader in games played, assists, and points, but not goals. Who is? This is a this is a tough one. Um, it's not Bobby Orr, is it? I know this. Do you? Mm -mm. It's not someone on the roster now. It can't be someone on the roster now. Could be Cam Neely. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? It could be Phil Esposito. It could be Bobby Orr. It's not Bobby Orr. No, he couldn't have scored that many. And Bobby Orr didn't even have that long of a career. No. Okay, guys, do we have an answer here? <laughs> Just guess. <laughs> um, this guy's choking on his failure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going with We're going to go Phil Esposito. 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 Phil Esposito had 459 goals for the Bruins. That's a lot. In fact, he was pretty high up in the all-time NHL leaders list, but... It sounds like we're oh. wrong. Is it Cam Neely? Dead man, golf shaker. Incorrect. Who is it? John Busick. Absurd. John, John Busick. John Busick. And I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. I think the point is, I don't think any of us knew that. No, I, I didn't know that. No. How would you know that? He set that up to get rid of our past yeah. question. You're out of your strike already. That's bull****. <laughs> The bonus round too, I yeah. know he's like yeah let's get that out of the way <laughs> oh don't you love it when a good plan comes together <laughs> we're on to question eight question number eight Gordie Howe famously wore the number nine during his 25 year career with the Red Wings but in his first two years in Detroit he wore another number what was that number do you know this guy yeah I know okay well I don't know so that's why I'm asking you if you know one of the greatest of all time okay I only know him as number nine I have no idea. I think it's 42. That's the one, the first one that popped in my head. I really don't know. Another one. So. Okay, we're out. This is definitely wrong. <laughs> wow, so much confidence. Uh, you're supposed to support me. Yeah. 42. Mm-hmm, 42. Chris Martin's favorite number. Don't worry about it. Is it actually? Is it actually? Yeah. Why would someone know that? <laughs> Yo, how do you Why know somebody's you know favorite that? number? Well, you knowing Chris Martin's favorite number makes this feel a little easier. Get out of here, guys. <laughs> 17. I am baby. not a hockey Give historian like 17, you. 17, baby. Good job. Good Give job. It to us. Are you guys gonna actually help each other win? I should say this, Luca. You might win this, but you're gonna help Jesse win for the first time in a long time. So, you know, just, just something to think about. Should I sabotage him on purpose? Just something to think about. Maybe just pull yourself off the road. Should I sabotage him on purpose? You better not. I might sabotage been you on long, purpose. a long, long, long dry spell. Uh, I've been very lonely. Wait, uh, before, like, I know, like, this seems like you're kidding, but your dad literally called you to say yeah. be more like Corwin is that correct we were all there for the phone call and you told us <laughs> that's after. top 10 most embarrassing things I've heard <laughs> of course they need to be more like Corwin be more like Corwin my dad says be more like Corwin Corwin <laughs> whoops okay get the hell out of here guys scoring 604 of his 610 career goals for the Blackhawks this NHL legend is the leading scorer in franchise History for Chicago. Leading goal scorer or leading point getter? Goal scorer. Leading goal scorer. I'm glad Jesse's ears worked. Well, that's a big difference because I know who the leading point getter is in the Chicago franchise. So my thought process was that Stan Mikita is the Th leading point getter I... in franchise history. But who else does Stan Mikita play for? What do you mean? Z, you said 604 of his 610 goals were for Chicago. Oh. It's a thinking man. This guy's a thinker. So Mikita didn't play for another franchise. So I also just don't know who else it would be. Because we all know that that stud Bobby Hall played for uh, a team that we like to call the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah. Oh, but we're talking NHL goals. Because I think Bobby Hall played for the Jets in the WHA. Whoa, this is a revelation wow. here. Wow. Okay, I think you just wow. solved it. I think you just solved the puzzle. You did it! It is Bobby Hall from your Winnipeg Jets. It's baby. not theirs. It's your Winnipeg it's, Jets. It's our it's Winnipeg not, Jets. It's not. No, Luka. don't. No. Are we no. right? Yeah, you're right. If we win, it might be our Winnipeg Jets for like 10 seconds. Number 10. Four of the top 10 points leaders in NHL history have worn the C for the Rangers. Who are those four players? Mark Messier. Gretzky, Messier. Messier. And we're toast. And we're toast. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bukaboom? No, it's not Jeff Bukaboom. He was trash. Darius Kasparaitis? No. Buttery name, though. Darius Kasparaitis had to have had the most broken nose in NHL history. Like, that, <laughs> that, that man's nose had seen some bad days. A lot of punches. We know it's not Kasparaitis. Yager? Yeah, yeah, Yager. That's three. 
Phil Esposito? You pulled that out of your ass. <laughs> I'm I'm saving our keisters right now. What do you mean right? you? I got yeah, yogurt. Yeah. I'm just Mr. Step Up. Okay. Yeah. I just I'm... I just step up and, oh, and crunch down. Man. Okay, fine. Let's go to the next what? question. I'm gonna nail it. What an absolute jerk. <laughs> absolute jerk. Can you see why I hate him? The second last question. The Canadians have had a number of elite goaltenders between the pipes, but which one of them has the dubious honor of leading the franchise in losses? Carey Price. Yeah, Carey Price. Carey, we're looking at you, baby. Thank you. High up on the list of wins. Unfortunately, he's been around that team for so long. A couple of those seasons, Habs haven't done that well. Because Leads them in losses. The NHL is a better place when the Habs are doing well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You've made it to a special, almost like a daily double type question, because we got Doug Gilmore here to read the question for you. Dougie G? Boy, guy's a beauty. Dougie, go for it. Hi, I'm Doug Gilmore, and what's the origin of the Toronto Maple Leafs name? Well, of course, Doug Gilmore read it, because of course, we're, you're in Toronto, and- uh, What else would he have read? Dougie? What a d I'm sorry. What a Why couldn't you what bring What a dumb in? thing to say. Why couldn't you bring in Ray Bork to read a Bruins question? Ray Bork wasn't by the TSN office. Doug, you've got some nice tats, though. I saw the guy's tats. Okay. They were, uh, nice. Where did they get their name from? Leaves. The fall. Maple Leafs. <laughs> From Canadian trees. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You guys having to get out at a question about the Leafs, it's kind of funny. I'm Why did you have to ask us such a hard f question, Doug Gilmore? I mean, it's pretty good for the final question in the quiz. Yeah, we're totally hooped. Let's talk this out. Okay, let's talk it out. Not only do I not have any idea about what this answer is, but I've never once thought about it. I'm neither. Because I don't care about it. This is why I hate the Leafs. Because we obviously get asked a question about the Leafs for the last question of the quiz. Could it could it be any more what Toronto was and annoying question? that no one outside of Toronto gives a crap about. I totally agree. I'm sorry, but this is poetic justice. You guys would say it. I'm not really that uh, arrogant of a Leafs fan here, but with you guys, just how much you talk about the Leafs, I am enjoying this a little bit. We're gonna get it right and shove it in your face. First of all, first of all, we don't even talk that much about No, I talk a lot of about the Leafs. I'm gonna need an answer now. Uh, does it have something to do with the war? That's what I was know. thinking. That's what I was thinking. Gents, you're not far off, but that's not nearly close enough for you to no, say that, that's correct. It is definitely close enough. So the reason is that Con Smythe changed the name from oh, St. Pat's to honor soldiers who had worn the Maple Leaf during World War One. We just said that. DZ, after the whole Duxworth incident. I don't trust I, this man. I, I, you know, no, there's no integrity. I'm sorry. You in don't trust me, Luca. You benefited off of that decision. I don't care. I'm not benefiting. Now. Where's the integrity? In no this integrity. So can I just tell you something though? When you entered here, are you pretty sure that Corwin and Emily got to the end, correct? Yeah. They didn't. What? You guys won. No Yes! I love the Leafs! I love the John Smart! Yeah, baby! We did it! I still don't like the Leafs! We just won! We did it! We did it! No, you put that on your shoulder! We are the champions! My friends, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Cause we are the champions. Of the world.